Hello everybody, happy Black Friday. Today's Black Friday, how are y'all doing? You should shop at LamarTownsonTarot.com. We have some great things, all right, <laughs> on my website, LamarTownsonTarot.com. If you would like a reading, I am an astrologer, a psychic, an energy channeler, and a tarot reader. Um, you can check out my website, LamarTownsonTarot.com. It should be in the description box below, the comment section, and it should also be on my website. I also make bracelets, and I make scarves, and I do candles. I do make bracelets. Bracelets are currently on sale, by the way. We have Evil Eye bracelets on sale, all right, and of course we have the very favorite, you guys love these, Rose Quartz bracelets as well, and as I said, I do have a scarf currently on sale as well, I do hand sew these scarves, I do also cut them myself out of the fabric, this is Coleco Cotton Fabric. And red anemone flowers are good for attracting love. It's very flirty. Someone said it's a very flirty type of scarf. Um, red anemone is also good for passion, courage, respect. All right. Um, as well as true love. All right. So get you a red anemone flower. It's also getting cold as well. So it's perfect for the holiday season. Make sure you also subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share with your friends and family. This is an Instagram Live. Make sure you also follow me on Twitch, Facebook, TikTok, as well as Vimeo at Lamar Townsend Tarot for all um, extra content. All right. And in this reading, I'm going to do, do a reading on Lisa Ray and the brat who allegedly are sisters. All right. Who apparently are sisters. And um, I'm also going to be pulling a card. Now, I did receive a beautiful rose quartz. I love crystals, you guys. Rose quartz charging crystal from Tiffany Intuition or Tiffany Tuition. I think you can find her on Instagram. So definitely check her out. Beautiful crystals. Um, and I used the, this crystal to charge my card. So we're going to pull a card at the end of the reading. But right now, we're going to go ahead and... Um, Cleansing Energies, and get into the reading for Lisa Ray and DeBrat. Fonzie, no. My cat's being sorry. I'm actually going to close the door so you can't come with me. <clears throat> You're so annoying. Okay. Let's go ahead and cleanse the energies. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the space from any past readings. Thank you for opening <laughs> It's crazy. I have to close the door, right? Thank you for opening up the channels so that I can get a good reading on Lisa Ray and DeBrat. Thank you, Father God, for speaking through me and being my mouthpiece. Thank you for just protecting my energy, protecting my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions. Thank you for protecting the energies, thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. And just thank you for allowing me to see the truth. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for clearing and cleansing the energy of this deck from any past readings. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay, yeah, I don't want this in my face. What's around Lisa Ray and DeBrat? First of all, DeBrat comes across as, like, to me, DeBrat comes across as, like, a Sagittarius or a Leo, very fiery, sunny energy. So DeBrat is, like, very optimistic, very go with the flow. Um, she can be, you know, very temperamental as well. Um, but I feel like she's actually, for the most part, very, like, happy, go with the flow, happy-go-lucky. Lisa Ray, however, it's like there's a stark difference. I'm look, looking at Brat's energy and it's very sunny. Lisa Ray, there's a lot of clouds, rain, darkness. So I do feel like as compared to the Brat, Lisa Ray is kind of going through something in her life. Maybe going through a dark time, a dark period in her life where there could be a lot of hardships. Um, but I feel like once again, there's like a strong line between the two. So I feel like... To me, Lisa Ray can maybe sometimes be a downer or can be like very low vibrational 
And I don't know if the brat always likes dealing or handling that energy. Listen to her on Ricky Smiley, the brat. Yeah, I don't know if the brat always feels like dealing with Lisa Ray's energy. Because I feel like Lisa can be a lot, especially these days. Because I think Lisa's going through something. This is all allegedly for entertainment purposes only, by the way. But I think Lisa may be going through something. Um, but I do feel like there's something with age, though. Like, age aging maybe so she could be going through something behind the scenes with that i'm not sure um but i feel like she's, she's very lonely at this time lisa ray lisa ray looks like she always has issues listen to her on ricky smiley the brat yeah i feel like lisa ray is kind of dealing with loneliness at this time like i don't know where her if she has children or how old her children are or if she's super close with them but i don't know if she's like alone actually like alone alone or if she just feels lonely or is dealing with like struggling with loneliness gary with the t is always messing with her i don't watch that show i don't watch the ricky with the ricky smiley show but i do like the brat i was i did watch an, um the brat's interview with what's her name candy from the real housewives speak on it um But I do think as well, like, I think the brat knows that Lisa's going through something. Lisa Ray's going through something. So I think Lisa Ray or the brat is actually kind of protecting Lisa Ray in a way. By not saying anything, like, you know, just kind of playing off like, oh, you know, she can handle herself. I think like the bra even though Lisa Ray can be kind of a, you know, a biatch, maybe. All right. The brat still loves her. I mean, that's her sister, right? You know, so it's like, even though the brat kind of does want to cuss Lisa Ray out in her gut, you know, somewhere down deep in her soul, her solar plexus, right? She does want to cuss her out and give her a really good piece of her mind. The brat also knows, you know, in her third eye and in, in her brow chakra, you know, her higher self, that like Lisa's going through something. You know, she. She's going through a tough time, so why kick a dog while it's down? It's like, that's the energy I get. And it's like, Lisa is like hurting. But there's hurting, there's hurt between the two of them and just in general. So I feel like there's been some sort of breakdown in this relationship as well. That has happened prior. And I don't know if they've actually come back from that breakdown totally. I don't know if they've fully come down for whatever that breakdown is. The brat has friends in high places. I Yeah, I believe that. So I feel like these two sisters had a breakdown of some sort. And I don't know if they fully uh, have like healed from that breakdown. Not solar plexus. <laughs> Will they ever... I don't know why I see them on... Is, is Lisa Ray on uh, Ayanla? I don't know why I see them on Ayanla. Like, I keep seeing, like, that could be a metaphor, or that could be, like... Because I think I heard rumblings of Lisa Ray being on Ayanla. But I don't know why I see them, like, talking with Ayanla or something like that. Like, I see that kind of energy. It could mean maybe they just need to sit down and talk with Ayanla or somebody, child. All right? Like, that's the energy I get. But there's, like, hurt there, but I do feel like it's on both parts, but there's a lot of hurt from, like, Lisa Ray, though. I don't know what that's like, you know? <clears throat> but I also feel like, you know, DeBrat was, you know, growing up more in the music industry. Lisa Ray was more in the acting entertainment industry, and I feel like as they got older, they kind of did drift apart a little bit, you know? I don't know if they like there's a long period where they weren't really that like close I mean they were close but like they just kind of like lost touch I feel like I feel like it may have been when when the brat like really started to become successful maybe in the 90s <clears throat> I was happy when the brat came out she seems happier since she came out exactly I wonder if maybe, like, they grew up in a religious home, though, and maybe that's why part of... I think I remember the brat saying something about that on the Candy, um, 
thing that they grew up in a religious home. I think the part part of that is why. But there's also a connection there with um, religion and Lisa Ray and the brat. Like, I almost feel like, you know, I don't know if at one point Lisa Ray kind of advised the brat to not come out, like, <clears throat> or something like that. You know, God forbid. But there's something there, like, I see a separation at some point where the, the two sisters did separate, you know, and there was a breakdown. But I feel like this breakdown was more recent, like, within the last 10 years. I would say. And they never really recovered from it. Hey, Angie. I have a hangnail and it's like so annoying. I'm like ready to hang myself. I'm trying to grow my nails out, but I don't even know why. They're pretty long already, actually. Um, okay. <clears throat> That's what I see. So, that's what I feel like is going on between them. I feel like that's why we saw Lisa Ray lash out at the brat. Um, I, I do, like, I just feel like they lost contact. You know, so there was, the uh, brat really felt like there was no, and it's interesting because they're like, there's a reason why when it came to the brat and her coming out and her getting with, you know, her partner, you know, and getting married, that she specifically left Lisa out of that. I think that's part of the breakdown is maybe her coming out. Her being, you know, a lesbian, maybe. Like, there's something there, allegedly. <clears throat> this is all for entertainment purposes only, right? I don't know, I just heard the brass saying that she's stuck in the past. I feel like Lisa's stuck in the past in some way when it comes to her and the and the brat's relationship. Lisa for some reason can't let go of the past. This once again could deal with something they that they went through together in the past or some beef they had. Or it could be some mental mindset that she can't let go of, you know, like maybe a old religious mindset, you know, like two women, you know, shouldn't be together, you know, kind of thing. I don't, you know, I'm just throwing out hypotheticals out there, but that's the energy I'm getting. Let's pull a card. Plus, they met via Lisa Ray and Ogre used her to get to the brat. Ooh. What message do the angels, spirits, and ancestors have for the brat? Lisa Ray. Ace of Pentacles. That's interesting. Doors open doors opening. Opportunities. Um Remember I said that I see them going on a Yanla or something like that? I I don't know if it's a Yanla per se, but I see something like healing for them. Like but it seems televised. So there's something about this sister bond, you know, healing this sister bond that actually could bring them money. They may like bank on it, you know. I don't know if they get their own reality show or they go on a reality show. I know Yanla is about to like end her show soon, so I don't know. But I see something like that. All right. Maybe one of them gets a reality show, and this is part of, you know, one of the plots or topics in the show. But I see money around this sisterhood or money around this situation. It could be press energy for press. I'm not sure. But these two girls are smart, though, as well. I mean, you know. They've been in the industry for a while. They know how it works. They know any press is good press. I'm just saying. They were on Ayanya. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Because I keep seeing Ayanla. And I'm like, maybe there's more opportunities that comes from them being on Ayanla. Like, maybe they... I see something like money in their healing. Money, like, you know, being able to make money off their healing. Like, it feels like the, Bra the Braxton's family values type of vibe to me, you know? Whether it's ethical or not, you know... 
who cares? You know, we're in quarantine. Get your money. Get get the bag, right? That's the energy I get. Oh, wow, you're on point, babe. Well, Lisa and her mom are. I'm sure the brat may go on. Th that could, They could get some money from it. All right, doors could open. Of course, this could be oh, doors opening for healing and growth as well for them, right? Because also, you know, the earth, the, you know, the, the harvest, all the plants and stuff can symbolize growth. Because that's what plants do, they grow, right? But once again, even in that, there's money. There's money to be made in their growth. I'm just saying. When the brat showed up on Lisa Ray's talk show, it made me sad how the brat was treated. Yeah. I mean, they have to atone for that in public. So it's like, why not make money off it? I'm just saying, Ace of Pentacles. There's opportunities here, girls, all right? Or, you know, people. When you do things in public, you have to atone for it in public, even if you do it behind the scenes. That's just the rules of being a public figure. So why not make money off it? I'm just saying. She was hurt, hurt. She was. And that's why I think, you know, they're, she's, like, further distanced herself from the, uh, Lisa Ray. is because Lisa Ray can just be hurtful. But that's because Lisa Ray is hurt. Hurt people hurt. People. You know? So, whatever they end up, you know, whatever the future holds for them, I wish, you know, it involves healing and growth between the two of them, just in general, you know? Because in this day and age, we don't really know what the future, you know, holds, you know, so, you know, healing is important. So we wish the brat, Lisa Ray, and all those involved just that. Thank you for being here. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Remember, I am available for readings, um, LamarTownsonsHair.com, bracelets, scarves, candles. Um, subscribe, like the video, share with your friends and family. All right, um, and I will see you in the next one. Love and light.